this video is on sending project issue reports out to your subcontractors or yourself. You can start off by navigating to the Plan Grid website, app.plangrid.com. You do have a limited ability to send an issue report through your iPad Plan Grid app. However, you can only do it per page. You can't do one that uh, covers every page, all issues. So in order to do that, you do have to do it through the Plan Grid website. We're going to select this project since I already have a lot of issues on here to use it as an example. You'll navigate right over here to issues. From here you'll notice this is where we have our different categories. We had damage, punch list, RPM damage. We're going to focus on punch list for now. Click on punch list. Now this is every item for every subcontractor whether it's open, closed, it doesn't matter. It's going to all be here. If you want to send out, let's say we just want to send a Martin Tomlinson his list of, of items, whether they're open or closed, you want to select this filter. From here, at stamp, this is where you're going to pick who it is that you're looking for. We're looking for Martin Tomlinson right here. And it shows that all their issues are closed. If you had a mixture of open and closed, you could select here status open which he has none so we'll, we'll close that for now and here's all his issues once we have the issues here what we'll do is we'll select report filtered and it's going to sort it by ID which is fine and you got plan grid issue report with a date you could change it to we'll change it to pinnacle point punch list or you could even put a uh, Martin Tomlinson roofing punch list. And the reason you want to be descriptive is because later you can go back and access these issue reports that you've already created so you don't have to recreate them every time. If you want to create a comment, a file type, PDFs automatically selected, that's what I do. Comma separated values, stay away from that. Now you can email it to someone uh, directly or you can just generate it and email it later and I'll show you how to do that. For now we want to go ahead and email it. I'm just going to email it to myself. But you notice in this drop down list here these are all the teammates that I've already invited to this project. All the subcontractors, their foremen, their PMs. I can pick it right from here, send it directly to them. Uh, for now I'm just going to send it over to me. Uh, once it's here you can't really see down here because all this just clicks somewhere right out of here to, to get rid of that box. Now you can see it again and I'll hit generate. It's generating the report now depending on how many items you have will determine how long it takes to generate that report. Uh, could be 10 minutes if you have a lot of items. If you just have a few it may only be a few minutes. And once that's generating you can navigate away from this page you don't have to sit here on it it's telling us our reports ready it also gives us this shareable link you can just click copy link if you decided uh, you know I want to email that over to someone else you can just click that open up your email paste this link send it to them we'll download this report here so you can see what it looks like we're gonna open that up close that or not. Okay. Don't know what happened there. Anyways, we're back here. It's got all this loaded up. It's going to give you a contents page. And here's our first issue, issue number 161. It's going to tell us the, the sheet number. It's going to tell us the location or show us the location, when it was created, last time it was updated, and a photo of the issue right here. You scroll down, basically you're going to have one issue per page, sometimes more than one page depending on how many pictures you created. Uh, as you scroll down you'll see that that's the list. And this is exactly what they'll see when you send it to them. In order to 
go back and look at all your lists and back here on the plan grid website this is the page we were on earlier you can click right here view reports this is why you want to be descriptive if you're going to try to drill down and do specific issue reports for certain subcontractors right here it's going to tell you what it is Martin Tomlinson roofing punch list some of these were examples I've, I've been doing issue report that's going to be the entire project how many issues there were the dates and I can share it again from right here I can just click share or save it or delete it if I wanted to if I click share it's going to open this up and give me the, the link I could copy and email that to someone and then once you get done with that you can go back to your sheets close this out and you're good to go you can continue on adding or editing your issues in your iPad plan grid app